Hi friends, so today I thought we would go through a flow, kind of flow with us being on our mat and let our mind just go. So let's do this. So we're gonna just press our feet, finding ourselves easily onto the mat, pressing our feet into the ground and feeling our body start activating. Reminding ourselves that we're right here, standing with our body, putting our hands on our heart and our belly if that feels good to us. Taking a deep breath in and out. Again, in and out. And slowly coming to the front of our mat. So pressing the feet into the ground, soft those knees a little. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Really being gentle with ourselves as our body starts opening up. Exhale, hands come down. Step it back. Coming onto our knees. So from here, we're going to do some uh, spinal rolls. I like to call it a rolling cat-cow. So we're going to inhale, pull the belly button to the spine, and start shifting our weight forward a little, and then dropping our belly and pressing back. Rounding the spine, dropping the belly, almost like you're going to come into child's pose or a little puppy pose. Inhale, rounding the spine. Exhale, pushing it back. Let's do this three more times. One more time. And then we're going to find ourselves in our cat-cow position. So hands pressing firmly into the ground. We're going to drop our belly, look forward. Exhale, push the ground away. Inhale, drop it forward. Push the ground away, belly button to spine. One more time, inhale, dropping that belly, looking forward. Exhale, push the ground away, belly button to spine, and then come to center. From here, we're going to do a little um, washing machine. So we're just going to circle our spine now, circle our belly, coming into this circular motion like a washing machine, maybe washing everything out of us that we don't want, and then circling the other direction, finding some flow and movement into our body, into our spine, into our mind. And then coming to center, curl those toes under, look the hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Start finding your dog walk, playing, finding opening in the space. Looking forward, stepping towards the front of the mat to start with here. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold it in. And maybe just start moving your legs, finding motion in the backs of our legs. How are we feeling with our body today? Softening the knees, inhale all the way up, reach up, look up, hands kiss. Exhale all the way back down. Inhale, find your halfway lift, let's stay here. So pressing those hands into the ground, shins, quads, wherever it feels like you can get that long spine. Exhale, fold it down again. From here, we're going to grab opposite elbows and just let ourselves flow back and forth. Finding the pressuring of the feet, lifting and pressing, moving back and forth, distributing the weight back and forth, just finding a little ease. Softening the knees a lot, hands come down to the ground, step it back. We're going to start moving through our vinyasa. So, dropping to our knees for our first one. Inhaling forward, slowly start to come down to our chest. Little body weight on the ground. Inhale up into our cobra. I have a very tense back, but it loves yoga, so I move really slow as we start. As we're in our cobra, pulling the belly button to the spine, pressing the knees into the ground to support our back. Curl the toes under, lift the hips up. Downward facing dog. I'm a little distorted pillow there. From here, looking forward, option to start bunny hopping. I like to start 
having people start hopping forward just for fun. So hopping wherever feels good and then walking your feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold it in. Let it go, soften the knees a lot. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down. We can start our bunny hops if you want. Hop back and start moving through your vinyasa. High plank option or on your knees. You can skip it all together if you want to. Pressing those legs into the ground, coming up into your cobra. Feeling into the back body. As we come into downward facing dog, press the knees into the ground, belly button to the spine, curl the toes under, downward facing dog. Taking that right leg up to the sky. Someone pulling that foot away and then start drawing that knee in and forward, shifting the weight forward. If your foot doesn't make it, you set the knee down and guide that foot forward. Knee on the ground, inhale up, kneeling lunge. Exhale, hands come down. Pressing the ground away, left knee off the ground. Take that right foot up and all the way back, open it up. Drawing that right knee in again. Shifting the weight forward. Foot on the ground, left knee on the ground. Coming up, kneeling lunge. Doing that again, pressing the ground away. Left knee off the ground, take that right foot up and back. Open it up to scorpion dog. Start guiding that right knee forward, shifting the weight forward. Foot down, knee down, kneeling lunge one more time. Hands down. Start guiding that right foot back, opening up that hip. Right foot comes down to the ground. Knees come to the, to the ground, going for cat-cow. Dropping the belly, looking forward, curling the spine. Finding a lot of motion here. Sensing that rolling motion. Coming to center, curl the toes under, hips to the sky. Let's go through that left side. So the left leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Leg is long. Start shifting that knee, the weight forward, shifting the knee forward, finding our foot onto the ground wherever it lands, the right knee down. Guide that left foot forward. Come up, kneeling lunge. Hands come down to the ground. Right knee off the ground, take that left foot up to the sky. Open it up this time. Scorpion dog. Start shifting that weight forward, knee toward the chest. Left foot down, right knee down, guide that foot forward. Kneeling lunge. Hands come down. Right knee off the ground, bring it up and back. One more time, shifting that knee and weight forward. Left foot on the ground, right knee on the ground. Kneeling lunge. Hands come down, right knee off the ground. Take that leg up and back, left leg, open it up. Feeling into that scorpion dog. Left foot on the ground. We're gonna come through our uh, down dog. Spinal roll, so inhale. Coming forward into plank, starting to drop the knees. They don't hit the mat. Start pressing the ground away. Hips start moving back and then up to the sky. Inhale forward, let's start rolling with this. Knees start dropping, they don't hit the mat. Press the hips back, lift up the hips to the sky. Inhale, start moving through your rolling. Let's do this four more times. Finding some fun flow and motion in our body. Let's do this one more time. And finding our down dog. Looking at those cute feet. Walking the hands towards the feet. Hang it here. Start swaying from side to side. Feeling yourself opening up and letting it go. Softening those knees a lot. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down. Soften the knees. Walk it out. Plank pose. Coming into our downward facing dog. Looking forward. Step jump or float. I like to bunny hop. Woo. And then walk it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it in. Give yourself a hug. Soften those knees a lot. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. So just feeling into this. We're going to take our right knee up to the sky. Kind of in a 90 degree angle here. Reaching the arms up. 
Yogi stand. Let's take that right foot and step it back into a shortened high lunge. Yes. Feeling into our body and our hips. Opening up the star pose. Woo! Opening up the star pose. From here, we're going to start to swing our arms. So we're going to take our arms over to the left, taking the right heel off the mat. Then taking our arms over to the right, taking the left foot off the mat. And let's move with that a little bit more. So feeling into this opening of the body. And then slowly making our way into our goddess pose. So as we're in this goddess pose, maybe we play around with our shoulders, our legs, maybe bouncing a little, and then coming to settle here. Feel into your goddess, what it feels right now. Inhale, reach it all the way up. Exhale, all the way back down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Let's scoop the ground. Inhale, all the way up. All the way down. Three more times. Two more beautiful times. One more time. Star pose. Here we are in a star pose. Start rotating the right toes towards the right, coming into a shortened high lunge here. Left toes rotating. So shortened high lunge here. We're going to come in to that standing yogi stance. So the left knee is softening. The left knee starts to come up, finding our balance. Woo! Yes. Feeling into that. Left foot comes down. Reach the arms up higher. Exhale, circle sweep all the way down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Finding our flat back. Exhale, hands come down. Step, jump, or float back. I'm going to bunny hop. Yes. So moving through our vinyasa. As we're coming into cobra, press those legs into the ground. Coming up, those shoulders draw down. Pressing the belly button to the spine, knees into the ground, curl the toes under, into downward facing dog. Looking at our feet, we're taking our hands and walking them towards our feet and start swaying and letting go here. Soften those knees, inhale all the way up. Exhale, all the way back down. Walk those hands out into plank pose. We're going to start doing our little down dog rolls here. So come into your down dog and start rolling forward and back. So inhaling forward, plank pose, start dropping those knees. They don't touch you. Press your hips back and then up. Rolling. One more time. Looking forward, step, jump, or float. You know I like to bunny hop. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Soften those knees a lot. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Check in with yourself. What's going on with this body? Inhale, reach the arms up. Take the left knee up into this strong yogi stance. Coming into a shortened high lunge, so stepping this left foot back, softening that right knee. We're in a shortened high lunge pose. We're going to open it up into a shortened warrior pose. So this is always an option as we're in flow. Um, if you want to take a little more rest or deepen it, it's entirely up to you. So we're just going to move back and forth with this. So dropping our right arm towards our right leg, left arm to sky, and then back, coming into a reverse warrior. So moving back and forth with this. Right now, option to shorten or deepen your stance. We're never stagnant in our yoga. Even as we try to find stillness in my, our mind and whatnot, I feel like our mind was made to move and go. We find these spaces of pause. A couple more times. And then from here, coming into side angle pose, start taking that left hand towards the ground, the left foot rotates, right arm up to the sky, 
And I'm gonna flow with this. So right arm comes sweeping forward and back. Sweeping across our front and back up to the sky. Sweeping across our front foot and back up to the sky. Three more times. One more time. Right hand comes down to the ground, right foot moves back. Go through your vinyasa. We will meet in downward dog. Inhale, look forward, step jump or float to the front or back of the mat, wherever you are. Exhale, hands come down, soften those knees. Soften them even more. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. We're going to take that left foot and step it back and then open up into our star pose. Yes. We love star pose. So let's move with our goddess again. So as we squat down into our goddess, we're going to take our right hand over to the left leg. Coming into a little twist here. And then moving with the left hand to the right leg. Moving back and forth with this. And as we do this, wrapping the opposite arm behind our body. However it feels good to you. Finding some opening. Finding some flowing. One more time. And then come to center. Reach it up. Exhale, we're going to start to rotate towards the front of the mat. So left toes are turning, coming into a shortened lunge here. Feeling into our lunge and feeling this stance. This is the right stance for us as we open up into warrior two. So again, your stance will dictate kind of the heat you're building and feeling into our hips and whatnot. So really check in. Do we want to be here? Do you want to deepen it further? We just find that balance of effort and ease. So we're going to start moving with our flow here. Left arm to the left leg. Reach the right arm, side angle, and then reverse. We're coming into side angle again and reverse. So we're going to move back and forth with this in kind of a flowy manner. Our arms are flowing. If our left leg is feeling super tense, you can always straighten that leg. One more time, one more breath. Coming into warrior two, circle sweep that right arm under, coming into this high lunge here. Take the right hand down to the ground, the left arm to the sky, a little twist. So we're going to start doing that little flowy on this side. So that left hand sweeps in front of the left foot and back. Left arm sweeps in front and back. So that left hand is grazing the mat and back up. Grazing the mat and back up. Three more times. One more time. And then left hand comes down, left foot comes back. Move through your vinyasa, we will meet in child's pose. So as we're coming into child's pose, taking a pause into our body, just feeling into maybe the opening or the softening, the letting go, and just going with a little free flow, not having any expectations or judgments or any of that stuff that we're just wiping off of our mat, just letting it go. Inhale it forward, rolling that spine, coming into our tabletop position, curling those toes under, lift the hips to the sky. Taking that left leg long, opening up that hip. Scorpion dog. Looking under that right shoulder. So a little more hip opening. Slowly start shifting that weight forward. Knee is coming forward. That left foot comes onto the mat. We're going to move back and forth with another flow. So inhale up. 
High lunge, open up, warrior two. This time with our flow, we are going to straighten uh, this front leg, this left leg as we move back and forth. So as we're here, we're going to start straightening, coming into triangle, and then coming into reverse warrior. Moving back and forth, triangle, and warrior. Moving as slow as feels good for our body. Finding space. Three more times. One more time. Coming back up into Warrior Two. Opening it up into our Goddess Pose, or Star Pose. Star Pose! And then into our Goddess. So as we're in Goddess, opportunity here to play around with our feet, lifting the right heel up and sinking further, lifting the left heel up, playing with our hands, finding fluid motion. What does this feel like? What if you held for a spot and bounced here? What if you switched feet? Playing around with our body. Two more breaths. One more breath and then reach up, star. Hands to our belly and our heart. Checking in here, feeling into our body. Not keeping track, not keeping count, not trying to get it just perfect. Flowing with this, right? Rotate that right toes, coming into warrior two on this right side. And we're going to move back and forth with triangle and reverse warrior. So reaching those arms out, they don't need to be perfect, just however they are, it's just the way they should be. Reaching that right arm forward into triangle, bending that front knee, reverse warrior. Start moving back and forth with your body. Using your breath, being creative and flowy with yourself. A couple more times. Not thinking about the exact posture, just thinking about flowing one more time. I kind of lose track of my count. <laughs> Coming into star pose here and dropping down into goddess and then wide-legged forward fold those toes. Move forward, look forward to the long edge of the mat and just hang here and then start flowing here. Maybe we have our hands on the ground and we just let ourselves paint a picture onto our mat. Just feeling into that. And then we're going to start moving towards our right foot, rotating those right toes, coming into a runner's lunge here. We're going to start moving through flow back and forth just with our um, sun sounds. So taking the right foot back, slowly lowering down, inhaling up into cobra, Exhaling, downward facing dog. Start using those rolling motions as we move. Looking forward, step jumper float to the front of the mat. You can bunny hop wherever you want to. Inhale, halfway lift, letting yourself uh, walk out your feet, feeling into this. Exhale, fold. Soften those knees a lot. Inhale, up with your dramatic arms. Exhale, back down. Inhale, halfway lift again. Exhale, hands come down, step jump or float back. Move through your vinyasa however you want to. As we come up into cobra, we're going to start shifting our right shoulder forward and then our left, like we're doing a sassy shoulder walk. Then pressing the belly button to the spine, knees into the ground, curl up into downward facing dog. Right leg up to the sky, open up that hip. Scorpion dog, take that right foot forward, right foot on the mat. 
rising up into our dramatic high lunge, sweeping those arms, opening those arms wide, and then sweeping with those arms forward and back, finding some opening up in the chest and the heart, opening up into warrior two, feeling flowed with our warrior, opening up into our star pose, letting ourselves two on this side. If you guys heard a beepy noise, that was just my devices playing around with us today. And we're being playful. So, sweeping our arms, taking the right arm under, coming up into our hard lunge. Start sweeping our arms all around, feeling into that. One more breath, hands come down, left foot comes back, move through your vinyasa. We'll meet it down dog. Left leg up to the sky. Open up that hip. Finding our scorpion dog here to the right armpit to see if we can find balance in both hands. A little evening of the pressure. Taking that knee in and forward, shifting weight forward. Left foot comes down. Inhale, rise up. We're going to open it up again. Coming into our warrior two. Start rolling your shoulders. Woo! Yes. Arms come out. Reach up into a star. Come down into your goddess. Inhale up. Coming into warrior two on this other side. You can find a little flow here. Circle sweep that left arm under. High lunge. Dramatic arms. Hands come down. Right foot comes back. Move through your vinyasa. Finding our body motion. Curl the toes under, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Right leg up to the sky, open up that hip. Let's keep rolling that right knee in and forward, right foot down to the ground. Rise up into our high lunge, dramatic arms. Flowing with our body, opening it up into warrior two. Flowing with our warrior. Coming into our star, finding our star, and then dropping into our goddess. Rising back up, coming into warrior on the left side. Finding some flow with our warrior. Circle sweep that right arm under, high lunge on this side. Left hands come down, left foot comes back. Move through your vinyasa. Pressing those knees into the ground, belly button spine, curl the toes under, into our down dog. Let's start flowing that dog, finding flow in our spine. One more time. Left leg up to the sky, open it up this time. If we would like to, taking our wild thing, whatever it looks like is awesome. Coming back, left knee towards the chest, left foot on the ground, rise up to your high lunge, feeling into this high lunge, opening it up, warrior two, coming into your star pose, dropping into goddess pose, rising up, coming into your right-sided warrior, feeling into your warrior, your flowy warrior, Circle sweep the left arm under, high lunge here. Yes. Hands come down. Right leg moves back. Open that hip up. Option to come into your wild thing here. Whatever it looks like is awesome. Coming back. Right foot comes in between the hands. Rise up. High lunge. Warrior two. Star, goddess, stay here. Woo, feeling into that. Maybe squatting down a little further. We're gonna come into our yogi squat. So moving the feet in more if we'd like to. You can also use a block. I love yogi squats. So tech feeling into your knees and your body. And if you wanna sit on the block, 
Uh, your squat may be here, wherever it is. Be with it. <laughs> Love the one you're with. And just feeling into that. Mmm, yeah. How does that feel? Maybe you bounce a little. Maybe you sit a little taller. We're going to move back and forth with our arms. So you can use a block. And back and to the left just feeling into that just a little more hip opening before we come down to settle into our shavasana coming to center pressing into the block and slowly taking the tone down so wherever you are start straightening those legs forward fold And just swaying back and forth. And then slowly bringing those feet together, coming to our knees, onto our shins. Closing our eyes and just letting our neck flow. Toning it down. Feeling into that. If it feels good to rub the thighs, Taking a pause here. From here, taking the right hand to the left thigh. And if you would like to use a block, we're coming into a twist here. Or just taking your left hand on your left glute. So twisting. And then come to center. Take a breath. And then twist. And coming to center. From here, we're going to uh, come to the end of our practice with a restorative child's pose. So you can use a pillow, you can use a block. I like to have it high enough that as I come with my head, forehead, onto the surface, that I can place my arms right here for a little cozy feel. Entirely up to you. If you're having sensitivity, you can also put a pillow um, behind here for a little more lift. So just coming into your child's pose, taking as much time here as feels good. Letting yourself melt into the sensation of your practice that you gifted yourself today. Letting yourself be in that space of um, worth and love and goddess. So we all have the goddess within. I'm so grateful that you came to practice with me today. Namaste today and every single day, goddesses.